Good evening. I'm Greg Scott, and alongside Ann Manson, we'd like to welcome you to the 18th Annual Buffalo Grove Symphonic Band's Fall Concert. Founded in 2001 by Howard Green and the Buffalo Grove Arts Commission, the Buffalo Grove Symphonic Band now boasts over 70 full-time members and has branched out to include the Buffalo Grove Jazz Band and other ensembles that perform throughout the year. We would like to take this opportunity to thank the Village of Buffalo Grove, its trustees and president, and the Village Manager's Office for their continued support of the band and its operations. The band also wishes to recognize the generous financial support given to us by the businesses who have purchased advertisements in tonight's program. A special thanks goes to Grande Jake's newly returned to Buffalo Grove for their five-gallon bucket of salsa and approximately a metric ton of chips to go with it. We invite you to shop at these local businesses, and while you're there, thank them for their support of the band. The theme of tonight's concert is Old World, New World. Our program will begin with music that embodies traditional European romantic sound. Later in the program, we will begin to shift from music composed in the Old World to music composed in the New World. This shift represents the export of traditional European romantic music to the Western Hemisphere, beginning around the turn of the 20th century. And now, I'll turn it over to Anne, who will introduce the first selection of tonight's program. Anne. Good evening. Um, I did want to also uh, welcome our village leadership. I believe our president is here, waving to us. Thank you for coming. She's a great supporter. That's good to have. And anyone, anybody else in village leadership, we thank you that you let us do something that we enjoy so very, very much. So our first piece tonight is written by Rossini. He was one of the great composers of the Italian operatic school. He wrote 35 operas in 20 years. Among his famous works are The Barber of Seville and William Tell. After composing William Tell, he directed his creative skills toward gourmet cooking and prided himself in as becoming a great chef. Tonight, our first piece comes from Rossini's 20 productive composing years, and it is entitled, An Italian Girl in Algiers.
test. Yes. <laughs> we wanted to also uh, remind you that our conductor is Howard Green, an accomplished musician himself, and one who gives of himself tirelessly to our group. So would you give a thank you to Howard Green? famous female composer, modern day composer. We're moving from the old world now to the new world. She's won many Emmy Awards. She's worked with a lot of different artists and uh, movie directors. Uh, she's won many, many distinguished awards, often in a male-dominated uh, music world. She composed Cordoba following the death of her beloved father who was in the United States Air Force and stationed in Spain for a short period of time. Cordoba became a place he loved. It's just south of Madrid on the road to Seville. As you listen to the music, you will hear the Spanish nature of this, comp this composition. We will be playing only the first movement of four. You'll be glad to know that because all four movement takes about 45 minutes. But we'll just do movement one. And Julie Giroux not only composed the piano solo, she composed the symphonic band parts as well. As you listen, about three-fourths of the way through the movement, when the band finally just puts our instruments down and gives it over to our piano soloist, you will hear what the composer says uh, is the only place in the piece that there, if she put words to music, it would be, I miss you and I love you, to her father. So Cordoba is a piano solo composed by a woman and tonight will be performed by a woman. Dawn Karras. Dawn has been a member of our band for 17 years. You'll see her back in the percussion section. And she has been for 30 years a music educator and accomplished accompanist. Dawn is currently also the director of the Women's Choir at King, Kingswood United Methodist Church in Buffalo Grove. Please welcome Dawn Karras as she performs Cordoba, accompanied by the Buffalo Grove Symphonic Band. John.
Is it going to work this time? Yes! <laughs> Our next piece on tonight's program, Nimrod, is a selection from Variations on an Original Theme, later to be called the Enigma Variations. It was written by Edward Elgar in 1899. The name Enigma comes from the fact that Elgar's 13 variations were each titled with the initials of a friend or a cryptic name. Elgar told his friends about this. And this led to a flood of inquiries, T-Mobile, something to get that phone, <laughs> discussions, arguments, and some detective work on the part of many people. Even in 1899, some people were so vain, they thought that the song was about them. And in the case of 13 people, it was the case. To conduct Nimrod, please welcome our associate conductor, Allison Rakikis, to the podium. Kissick 
middle school, which is Allison's school, where she's the music director there. And um, we just, and we thank you for coming because uh, we could practice ourselves to death, and if you didn't come to appreciate it, it would kind of, uh, we'd probably still practice because we're band nerds. But really, it helps that you're here. Well, we're going to completely change our tone and mood now. We're going to do a piece called Wapango. Jose Pablo Mancayo Garcia composed this piece for a special concert in Mexico where they wanted to feature traditional Mexican music. Jose chose the Mexican folk dance and music style from Northeast Mexico called La Huasteca, which is traditionally performed by a trio Huasteco, which when you hear me describe it, you'll know you've seen this, kind of like a mariachi band, an eight-string guitar, a violin, and an oversized deep pitch guitar. The percussion section has a great time on this piece. They get to get out all the toys, and um, you'll have fun watching and listening to them, but the whole band has to get into the rhythms that they set for us. And so we're just going to take right off with this. Please enjoy now Wapango. Thank you. 
As a volunteer organization, we incur expenses for essential items such as music, publicity, and equipment. It costs as little as $25 to become a sponsor of the Buffalo Grove Symphonic Band. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the band, donation forms can be found in your program. For those who may be interested in supporting the band through other means, we have a solution for you as well. A very large bake sale in the lobby. Proceeds from the sale will go directly to support the band. We thank you for your support and look forward to seeing you here in the second half of the concert.